Okay, so we have we've done the about me. The next thing we want to do is um the so if you look at our uh, notepad, we want to do the working and education history. And this is going to be really easy because we've done it before already. So I think most of it, or just like, yeah, exactly. Most of it is just going to be copying and pasting. And I'm just adding the data into our um, resume data file, which I'm going to copy and paste again. But, okay. So um, let's go back there. And I'm in the resume. So we have that. Now let's start filling this in as well, right? So um, what I'm going to do here is is we're gonna have a grid wait we're gonna have a grid item for the title right so we can copy and paste this title first things first let's copy and paste the title okay um let's call this resume right yeah resume save let's see if we get that okay perfect so now we have the resume and for the resume, um, under the resume, we're going to have something else. So we're going to have a new grid container. Okay, so if I just snipping. Um, new. Okay. So remember, so if I select the black pen. Okay, remember all of this, all of that is one grid container, right? And then this thing here is one grid item. And then this entire thing there is going to be another grid item. But inside the grid item, we have two different columns, right? So we're going to call a grid container, which is going to be inside the grid item. Okay. So we're going to call a grid container. And then inside the grid container, we're going to have two grid items again. So this is going to be one grid item. Okay. And this is going to be the other grid item, right? So we're gonna have a normal item and then a container and then two items inside again. So let's let's do that. So let's uh, call a grid um, container. Wait, no, wait, no, 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 wait, wait. Hold on, wait. Grid container. Wait, we need a grid item inside of grid container and then we need a grid item, wait, item access equals to 12. Okay, now inside of that, let's have a new grid container. Why can I type there? Um, grid container, container. Okay, and inside the grid container, I'm gonna have two grid items. So grid item. So this is gonna have, so when it's a small screen, so if it's small or extra small, we're going to say it's going to take the full width, but if it's medium or above, okay, it's going to be um, six. So it's going to take half the width, right? So let's copy and paste this twice. Copy and paste it twice. So the first one, let's just comment this out. So the first one is going to be the experiences, right? So the working history, working history I don't know why but I just like using the experiences over working history experiences and then the second one is going to be the education right save so working history and education all right we're not going to see anything right now but we're going to have to um, import a couple stuff right one is a custom timeline remember from the timeline component that we had so let's go back to the um about sec no profile section profile component and then let's just copy and paste that code so first thing what we want to do is import the custom timeline that we created and then go back to the resume paste it in paste it in okay no it cannot find it i think we have to go two steps up right no so we're inside the pages. So we want to go one step up, we'll go inside the pages and then we go one step up, one step up, no. So we want to go one more step up and then go inside the components and then go for the timeline and all of that. So now you shouldn't give us an error. Cool, so now we've imported our custom timeline that we created, right? I'm gonna save that. And now what we want to do is call the custom timeline. So if I go back down there, 
Man, this series is in such a mess, it's not organized at all. But let's call it in. So I'm gonna say custom timeline. Custom timeline. And then the custom timeline needs a title, right? Remember? So the title is gonna be um work. What's the title here? Working history. I'm gonna say work experiences or experience, work experience. Okay. And then we're gonna pass in an icon as well, which is gonna be the work icon, right? So let me just close this first and then let's pass in the icon, which is going to be something, the work icon. So let's import the work icon. So if I go into Material UI icons and then search for work and then take that and copy it, copy, um, save, save, and then let's pass in the work icon. We have an error right now. That's fine. So work icon. Um, let's close that and then do that. So we have the custom timeline. We have a work icon. So let's see if we get that for now. Perfect. Let's go. So we have the working history, work experience. We have that timeline, and now all we have to do is fill in the data, right? Um, for different experiences. So let's go to our resume data and start adding all of those in, right? So inside the resume data, let's create a new um object called experiences. Or whatever you want to call the experiences is equal to so we're gonna have an array of experiences okay so of an, an array of objects that gonna have like the data for the experiences so what are the data gonna be so we're gonna have we're gonna have a title we're gonna have a date and then we're just gonna have a description for each of them right probably the same thing for the working history as well title um date and description so let's do that so title is going to be something, um, date is going to be something, and um, description is going to be something. So let's start copying it in. So for the title, I'm just going to say work one, work one. We're going to we're going to add three. Okay, so work one. The date is going to be um, let's say um, 2010. So we're going to um, have this in order where um, the newest one is going to come first. Right, so we're gonna say 2010, maybe 2018 um, to present. Okay, and the description is I'm just gonna copy this, copy and paste. Okay, so let's copy and paste this a couple of times. So let's add a comma there first, and then copy, paste, paste, paste. So let's have a work two, work two. And then we're gonna have a work three and the date. I'm just gonna change the date for this 2014 to you can have the month or whatever you want, 2015. Okay, um, I'm gonna say um 2016, 16 to 2018. Let's have a different type of date over here. So I'm gonna say um August 2016 to um September 2018. Cool. Save. So we're we can copy and paste the exact same thing for education as well. Just so we don't have to come back here. So let's do experiences, copy. Okay. And then let's create a new one called education. Education. And I'm just gonna rename this to education one, two, and three. Education one, education two, and education three. Save. Okay. So yeah, we don't need the resume data now. So let's go back here. And for the items, we wanna, um, wait, no, I don't need a profile, why do I have that open? But in here, we need to map through all, the, all of those items, right? So what I'm gonna say is inside the custom timeline, this time it's an array, right? So we can just say resume data, data dot experiences, experiences dot map, and we're gonna get an experience, right? So every time it's gonna map, it's gonna give us an individual experience. So for every experience, we wanna do something. Okay, we wanna return something. So what do we wanna return? We wanna return our timeline item. Timeline, timeline item. Okay, um, close that. And then the timeline separator. So I'm just gonna copy this right now. Timeline separator. 
Good job. Uh, wait, I think... Haven't, haven't we coded this already? Wait, we'll, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. If we have, I'll add it later. Cool. And then inside the timeline content, we're going to do this, right? So let's have a timeline content. So for every timeline, you need a timeline item. Inside the timeline item, there's going to be a separator. And then inside the separator, we're going to have the, uh, on the right side, it's going to be the timeline content, right? So for after the separator, right there, okay, we're going to set timeline content. That's how the mature UI timeline works, right? So timeline content, okay, close that. And we're going to have some sort of content, right? We're going to have a typography in there. Okay, the typography, the first one's going to be the um, title. So let's say experience, experience the title, title. Okay, and we're going to give each of these a class name as well. So we're going to have a couple of um, typographies. So one's going to be that, another's going to be the date. The last is going to be the description description right so let's give this one a class name first so class actually all of them are going to have a class name so let's select all of them so class name is equal to something okay so the first one is going to be the timeline underscore title because one of our format this one of souls right now um the second one is going to be um timeline underscore date timeline underscore date and the last one's gonna be timeline underscore description. So timeline underscore description. And I'm gonna, so if you look at this one here, it's slightly smaller, right? So we can give it um, a variant. Um, variant. So body two is smaller, but caption is even smaller than body two. You can report to the docs if you wanna know more about it, right? So. We're going to give that a caption and for the last one variants, we're going to give this a body too. So this text, this is going to be small, but this is going to be slightly bigger than the date, right? So body to save and, um, okay. We tell them separate and tell them dot connect. I think we've, we already have that. Custom. Timeline separator. Save. What do, what do we get? What do we get? Oh, nice. Perfect. Okay, 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 cool. So let's go ahead and why is this so big though? I don't get it. Um. Oh, it's not a carriage, it's a variant. Save. Okay, so we're, we're, we're almost there, like almost there. It's pretty close. It's just some sort of styling with the coloring and the spacing that's remaining. That's it. So let's go ahead and do it now, right? So let's go to our CSS. And now we're going to say, um, I like doing this as well. So end of about new section. Okay. So in here, let's say um, timeline section, section, end of and of time oh my days timeline section okay and now in here we're gonna have a couple stuff so we're gonna have um the title the date and um and the description right 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 so i'm gonna copy some of this code and then um paste it and um explain it so we're, we're, we're gonna go into the resume timeline okay in there, we're going to access the timeline content and then the timeline title, right? So we have, um, where is the resume timeline coming from? We haven't called it anywhere. So what I'm going to do is for this grid container, let's say, um, let's give it a class name of resume underscore timeline. And let's change it there. So save this here. And resume, speak on oh now. Okay, whatever. So underscore t, that and that underscore t. So let's save that and see what we get. Nope, we didn't get anything. But I'm just gonna explain the code first and then try and fix the bugs, right? So for the for the title, it's 
Oh, everything's straightforward, right? So it's just the font size and the font weight to make it slightly more bold. And then um, we have the color for the date to make it slightly more grayish. And then we have the color for the description to make it even more gray, right? So this is black, this is dark gray, and this is light gray. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. And um, it's gonna have a margin top as well. The description is gonna have some margin top on, on top of it, right? So let's save that and then see why it's not being called. Um, so let's try and debug this. So we have the resume timeline, right? Let me go split right. So we have the resume timeline. Is it the same spelling? I'm just gonna copy and paste this, just in case. Paste, paste, paste. We have the resume timeline, and then we have the resume content. So the resume content is missing. So if I do timeline, if I give this a plus name, plus name of um resume, and scroll to contents and save this. Does that fix it? Not really. Not really. So we have a resume content. No, it's a timeline content, not a resume content. What the hell? So save. Perfect, there we go. There we go. So we have the name, the that, and the that. Right, and that's exactly the same as this part here, like exactly the same. Um, so the only thing remaining is we just want to copy and paste this entire code to the right side as well. So let's do that. So experiences, so I'm going to copy everything from the grid. Okay, copy and paste it here. Control Shift F, okay. So we're going to give this a title of education. Let's see what the title is there. Education history, I'm just going to say education. Um, education. Okay, um, the icon is going to be different this time. So the icon is going to be um, a school icon. So if you go into Mushroom UI icons and then search for um, school, no, school, school icon, copy. Yeah, wonderful one, right? So copy, let's import it at the top. Okay, and the icon's gonna be a school icon. I'm gonna minimize this just so we don't get confused, right? So a school icon, and then we wanna map through the education. What does our resume data look like? One second. So experiences, I'm gonna call this educations. Okay, and in here we want to map the educations and we'll get an individual education um, copy. And then it's going to be that, that, and that, and save. And then let's go back to our application. And sheesh, man, might. That's so cool. Damn, that's so cool. I like it. I like it. I like it right so i guess yeah so you can you can have whatever you want here just to make it look slightly real i'm gonna make this capital no that and that to a capital e save and i'm just gonna test if it's responsive right now yeah so let's inspect elements and then to keep going to smaller screens smaller screen Okay, perfect. So this is medium. So anything that's medium and above, it's gonna take a screen size of, um, it's gonna take a width of 50-50 each. But once it goes smaller, so this is a tablet, and then this is a phone. So everything's properly responsive right now, like everything, right? Maybe the future looks kind of weird, I don't know. But you can fix that, move it to the right maybe. I don't know, but yeah. I'm not going to go back to the future. So yeah, everything's responsive. So we've done the timeline. Um, I'm going to stop the video here and then continue with both the services and the skills and probably the contacts, a uh, contact as well in the next section.
next video. Well, see ya.